Hello, Kristen here from Loving My Hair on Tumblr, and thank you for tuning into my channel, Loving My Hair Journey. Um, I'm going to do a hair update, um, updated regimen, because now it is consistent, it is the same regimen, and I want to talk to you about my new hair color, because it is obviously different from the last time I came in and talked to you guys. So, let me get started into the hair color. Um, you guys have known, ever since I started this channel, I have been blonde. I dyed my hair with the L'Oreal Super Blonde Max back in November of 2012. Blonde is super, super hard to keep up, especially when you have dark hair like I do. I didn't know that going into it, so the first time I touched up was four weeks after, and then I needed to touch up four weeks after that. I didn't dye it again because I didn't want to have to keep touching up my hair um, every four weeks because that is basically a bleach, and I did not want to damage my hair. So, I knew I was going to go dark in early 2013, didn't know when exactly I was going to do it. I was kind of waiting, I wanted to wait until the blonde washed out some more, but I got impatient. So I decided to pick up some black dye, which is the L'Oreal, um, L'Oreal, <laughs> dark and lovely, um, go intense, and it is black, and as you can see, it's, it's very black. I love the color. Um, I didn't do the roots, um, and you can tell if you if you look for it that the roots are a little bit lighter than the black. But the black is going to be a lot easier to touch up than the blonde because when it grows out, you won't be able to tell as much. And um, once I do touch up, I'll do the roots. But this was I got this at Walgreens. I think it was eight bucks or whatever but I really really do like it um so yeah it this is what it has on the back of what it would take my hair to or whatever but yeah I love I love the results there's like I think there's like an end piece in here somewhere that's a little bit lighter but whatever so yeah um side cut update that's what it looks like I'm letting it grow out um just because I don't feel like shaving anymore and I'm loving the look I've started you know slicking it down with some gel and um and loving you know that look or whatever so anyway let's talk about my um regimen i am doing nothing but wash and goes wash and goes are my friend because i don't have to do anything to it i don't have to retwist i don't have to rebraid i don't have to do anything where i manipulate my hair which is great for my hair um i wash usually once a week um maybe twice if I'm not feeling lazy but it's usually once a week if I'm working a lot it'll be longer just because I don't feel like dealing with it but I always moisturize I moisturize my hair every single time it needs moisturizing so it just depends like the next day my hair may need a little bit of moisturizer the next and then one day it may need a lot but I only wash about once a week so what I do is once a week is I wash with this the L'Oreal Ever Sleek um, Sulfate Free Smoothing System. It says for chemically straightened or damaged hair. I don't listen to these things on packages. I just use what works. Um, but this shampoo, because I put a lot of moisturizer on my hair throughout the week, so I need a shampoo that's going to get all of that stuff out. So this is what I use. I get all of my L'Oreal Ever Line stuff at Walmart for five eighty seven a piece. So I use that. Um... I usually, I, I really do not detangle before I get in the shower. I do all of my detangling in the shower because I want my hair soaking wet. And I put this all over my scalp and I just rub my hands through there and I get all of the product out, the dirt, whatever, and just get a clean slate on my scalp. I then follow up with, um, from the same line, the Eversleek um, Reparative um, Smoothing Conditioner. That's what I follow up with. This leaves my hair feeling very moisturized. It puts the moisture back in that the shampoo takes out. Um, I really do like it. It's a, I like it because it feels like a cream. And I love how it, it feels in my hair. And I leave this on for about until... I, I do my hair in the shower first. And then once I do my hair, I let this sit in there. And then I wash the rest of my, I wash the rest of my body. And by the time I'm done with that, I, I'll rinse this out. After I get out of the shower... Um, I use this. This is the Ever Sleek um, 
leave-in cream I use as a leave-in conditioner. This, you know, like I said, always looks 587. I love that it has a pump. I use this on, uh, I use this after I get out of the shower as a leave-in. And I really, really do like it. It keeps my hair conditioned for a, a long time. When my hair is dry, like on days where I just, I'm just spritzing my hair with um, water to moisturize it, I use this. This is the uh, Eversleek um, Finishing Cream. Because it says use on dry hair. I don't um, really use on completely dry hair. I'll wet the ends a little bit. Um, and then I'll put this on there. And I really like that. So that is what I use. And another thing, I wanted to update you guys on the castor oil that I've been using. I don't know when I did the, uh, the video. Maybe it was two weeks ago. Or two and a half weeks ago that I said I was going to start using castor oil. I am loving how my hair feels with the castor oil. I haven't done a length check. I'm not going to do a length check until uh, maybe whatever three months from when I last, you know, I measured already, but I will compare the measurements once I do a length check. I love how this feels on my hair. It keeps the moisture in my hair a lot longer than the EVOL. Now this is just me. It, it may vary from person to person, but I really love how it makes my hair feel. I, after I, I'm done, um, getting out of the shower after I wash my hair and I put my leave-in in, I seal it with this. I put it on my edges, I massage it on my scalp, and I seal the ends with the castor oil. And the next day, the moisture is still in my hair. I can still feel the castor oil. I usually get about a day, I could stretch it to two. I usually use this every other day. Uh, I don't need to use it every day because it's very thick. But um, I use it every other day. And I got mine at Walmart for like $2.37. It's not a lot of money at all. But um, I don't know if you can see, but it's right there. Because my hair, I have a lot of hair. So I'm, I probably use quite a bit to put on my hair. But it's only $2.37. So if I had to buy another bottle in a couple of weeks, it's not that big of a deal. So that is that is my routine. I strictly you just do wash and goes. I was a twist out girl. I was a braid out girl, but it was I was having to manipulate my hair way too much. And with wash and goes, um, after I wash my hair, I usually wash my hair at night before I go to bed, and I pineapple it. I pineapple it since my hair is layered. The back doesn't go all the way up to the top, so I do two pineapples. I put a, a ponytail up here. And I put a ponytail up here and I go to sleep. And then when I wake up in the morning, my my roots are super, super stretched. And like I said before, when I go to work, I wear my hair in a ponytail. So my hair gets stretched from that. So I can stretch my hair until wash day. I don't have to wash it again. I don't have to manipulate it. All I do when I take the ponytails out in the morning, I just go like this. Fluff it and go. It takes me about less than five minutes to do my hair. That's it. And I love the wash and goes. I, I don't know why I stopped doing wash and goes, but I love it. I love that I don't have to manipulate it. I don't have to do anything. Just kind of spritz it to moisturize it. Make sure I get the water where it needs to go. And I'm good to go. So that is my updated regimen. It's very simple. The simpler the better because I am not a person who likes to spend all this time on my hair. And that was the thing with braid outs and twist outs. Like, I love twist outs. I love braid outs. But I hate hated doing them to get the result and then I didn't like it first day anyway I like second day hair but with my washing goes I I love the first day and then it just gets bigger and bigger as the days go on so yeah I just wanted to come on here and show you guys my updated regimen because it's for a while it was do something different one week do something different the next but this regimen is pretty consistent I've been just keeping with the same routine over and over and over, and it's been working for my hair. It's been moisturized. Um, I haven't had as much shedding. I've noticed less shedding. Um, what else? What else? I think that's it. And I'm. Just, I feel that I'm retain. I think I'm retaining some length. So yeah, it's everything that we look as us natural girls look for in our hair. So yeah, I'm gonna get out of here, and I hope you guys have enjoyed your week. And if you have any comments or questions, leave them down below. And I'll see you guys later.